Hi everyone, thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in. This is a Libra reading for all Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs and also cross watchers as well. Thank you everyone for watching. I really appreciate your time. Hope you guys are good, doing well. I've done a pre-shuffle already so we can jump straight into this reading. The messages for this reading, we have reconciliation, someone from your past is returning to your life. And we've got finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And we've got unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Right, so let's get the tarot and tap into the energies surrounding this situation here. Let's do a free card spread. Six of cups. We've got six of cups in the uh, current position. Five of swords in the influence position, and ten of wands in the advice position. So we'll clarify. Dig a bit deeper. We've got the Tower, Scorpio, Aries energy. We've got King of Pentacles and Knight of Swords. So let's further clarify. Got the hangman, Pisces energy, we've got King of Cups, and we've got the Chariot, Cancer energy. Okay, so uh, do remember that this is a general reading, so the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So just flip the roles as need be, only take what resonates with you, leave what doesn't. So, this reading, uh, this looks like it's picking up a situation, a situation that needs to change. There is a situation here, I can see, that is just not working out. It needs to change. It does, it does. I can see there's a relationship here. That needs to change here. We've got the Tower. Scorpio Aries energy. Yeah. Yeah, there's a situation. There's, there's, it's a situation that just... It just this whole situation just needs to change because it's just crazy right now because I can see that there's a relationship here and it's like it's not working out and it looks like people in this relationship I feel like there's not the love and passion is just not there because there's at least one person in this relationship that's in love with somebody else we've got six of cups here. This is, a, you know, a lover from the past, someone from your past. Someone in this relationship is thinking about someone from their past. They're still in love with someone from their past here. Yeah, and they want to reconcile with someone from their past. This is why we've got reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Yeah, I mean, it's not working out. This relate is a relationship here that just needs to end. Here, yeah, it's a burden. Ten of Wands. I can see it's a burden. It's an absolute burden. And someone's fed up. It looks like they're really not happy. Yeah, because we've got unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Yeah, it's just dead. It's stale now at this point. There's not even enough attraction or chemistry. <laughs> stale. This relationship has got stale now at this point. I don't know why this situation is still dragging on. Because it looks like it's just time to, to, to just pull it to rest now. But with the tower in reverse, it's like 
someone in this situation, in this relationship, don't want to let go. It's like people in this relationship know that it's not working out. However, there's some kind of fear or some kind of control here. It's like someone's scared to be alone or they're they're scared to, to, you know, take a leap of faith and step out into something new here. They're still holding on to a broken relationship because this this relationship's broken. It's, It's come to an end. Look, five of swords. I mean... Conflict, arguments, fights, mind games, manipulation. It's just not working out. It's not working out and it's a burden. Someone's ready to release this burden of a relationship. Someone's fed up. Someone's fed up in this relationship. They're ready to release it here. Knight of Swords, yeah, and Chariot. Someone's moving on. Someone's leaving this relationship. They're letting it go. Yeah, leads me to this. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Yeah, the time has come. The time has absolutely come. It looks like the time has been come. <laughs> With that tower. But in reverse, it's like, you know, people are just avoiding this change. But it's inevitable. With the tower here, it looks like this is a change that is inevitable. This is something that you can't stop from happening. It's It's happening. You know, this change is happening, whether you like it or not. You know, it's just something that can't be avoided. You can delay it all you want, but the more you delay it, the more of a burden it becomes. Clearly, that night, ten of wands, five of swords, things just not getting better. Things are just not getting better. Someone's leaving, they want out here. We've got the chariot. I mean, this is moving on. Someone is definitely moving on. Knight of Swords as well. Taking action. Taking action. This is what needs to this is what needs to happen. Someone just needs to just go for it. It's go time. It is absolutely go time here at this time, at this point. Yeah. Yeah, because on the flip side, there is someone here that, that is thinking about someone from their past here. There is there is someone here wants to be reunited with someone from their past. This is the issue. And it looks like this hangman energy, this has been going on for a while for some of you. That someone in this situation has been holding on to feelings, holding on to feelings for their ex for a very long time. If it's not an ex, it's, uh, you know, like a friend, someone from your past here, childhood sweethearts or, you know, someone that you grew up with or you went to school with or college with, someone from your past, past lover. Someone still holding on to feelings, still holding on to this love that they have for someone from their past. King of Cups. You could be dealing with someone with water energy. Someone's got water in their chart. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We've also got Earth energy here. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Yeah, it's inevitable because, yeah, finances and career. It looks to me that, you know, someone wants to reconcile here with someone from their past. They want to leave leave a situation that they're in here. Because I could see Five of Swords. I mean, there's a breakup here. They're walking away. Knight of Swords. They're leaving and they want to reconcile here. I feel like the only reason why they probably fully haven't let go of, you know, this toxic relationship is because of financial issues. Someone's only staying in this relationship because of financial issues. 
And that's it. I feel like if this person had their money and their finances, you know, the way they would like it to be, they'll, you know, this would have been over. The situation would have been over. But someone's finances is not how they want it to be right now. Someone's got financial issues. Then we've got the King of Pentacles here. Someone is working on their finances in order for them to feel more confident, it looks like. Because I feel like that is part of the delay here. There is a delay in this change happening. And I feel like it's a financial issue. Because King of Pentacles, that is someone that is all about stability. Stability is very important for someone in this King of Pentacles energy. Financial security and stability is very important. So it's like to feel confident to even move on and have a, a new start here. Someone feels like they need to work on their their money. They need to work on their finances. So this is why they fully haven't embraced this new change yet. It looks like slowing it, slowing this change down. But yeah, I feel like yeah, this person is going to reconcile here. The plan is the goal here is to reconcile here with this person from their past. Someone's still in love with someone from their past, and that's what they—that's who they're heading towards. This is what I can see. There's a relationship ending here. The time has come to clear the energy. So, yeah, this relationship needs to end. Yeah, so that something better can come along. It's unrequited. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep the relationship going. It's unrequited. Yeah, and you know, it's time It's time for someone to actually be honest with themselves here, because this hangman, this is someone, this is the energy of someone that's been holding back their feelings for a while. Someone that's been scared to open up here. The t and it's time, it's time with that tower. Someone's been avoiding, you know, Dealing with a situation here. Dealing with this situation. This is someone that has been procrastinating. You know. And uh, you know. Probably trying to run away from. Tr you know. Taking accountability. In this situation. But they can't run away from it now. I mean with this tower energy here. It does show. That it is time. To face this situation and deal with it. You know, it is time to face your fears, face the truths. And deal with this situation. The time has come to really like just deal with this situation. And just draw a line under it. Under it and move on. Move forward. It's all about moving forward now at this time. The time has come to really move forward now. Someone's holding on to a broken situation, broken relationship for nothing. For absolutely nothing. And there's a whole new beginning. Waiting to, to start here. There's a whole brand new change that's waiting to start. But someone is just delaying this whole situation out of fears out of financial worries, you know, it looks like, yeah, it's time to face the fears, it's time to face your fears, face the truth, and just draw a line under this situation, this relationship, call it a day, and move on, move forward, it's time to move forward, yeah, we've got further insight here, the butterfly, relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child, growth. This is it. So, yeah, there is a situation that is evolving to the next phase. It's time to evolve to the next phase. Yeah. But someone's holding on to a situation here that is just uh, not going to get anywhere. It doesn't look like it's getting any better. 
it just looks like it's getting worse, you know, and someone just needs to just let it go. Someone in this situation really needs to let it go. It's reminding me, I'm, I'm getting that song, I'm hearing um, Keisha Cole, Missy Elliott, let it go. Yeah, because, yeah, if he doesn't want to be, it's not where he's at, it's where he wants to be. You know, it's not where this person is at. This person's in a relationship, but this is not where they want to be. You know? You just need to let it go. Clearly, someone does not want to be in this relationship. You know? Let it go. It's unrequited. Because it's not where they want to be. Someone here is in a situation that they do not want to be at. And it's just time to just let it go. Face the truth and deal with it. Yeah, we've got abundance here. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Yeah. This is it. It's all about visualising a happy outcome here. Keeping a positive mindset, you know. We've got camera. Reminiscing. Keepsake. Perception. Learn from the past, make memories. See, someone is really nostalgic during this time with that Six of Cups. You just clarify the Six of Cups, reminiscing, learn from the past, make memories. This is someone that is really, you know, reminiscing about someone from their past. They're still in love with someone from, from their past. They haven't let go of feelings for someone from their past here. And they want to go back and make new memories. Someone's seeing things a lot clearer now, you know. There's a clear perception now on what they want moving forward. Camera. Seeing things through a whole new different lens. Yeah, we've got kisses. Unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection. Falling in love. See, someone is so in love here. Someone in this situation is in love. But they're just not with the person that they're, not, that they're in love with. That's the issue. Because <laughs> there is someone in this situation, King of Cups, I mean, someone in this situation is in love. But they're just not with who they are in love with. <sighs> they're delaying. Out of fears, I think. I feel like there's fears. There's a lot of fear in taking, you know, this this change, making this change here. Someone has fears and worries. Yeah, but it's unconditional love. It's unconditional love. So it's inevitable that this, you know, this reconciliation is going to take place. It's inevitable. Got the tower here. It's inevitable. Sooner or later. Yeah, this reconciliation is going to take place. The love is too strong, it looks like. It's unconditional. Falling in love, you know. Yeah, someone's got it bad. So, I have further messages here. From the angels, for further guidance for this situation here. Alright, we've got, there's something better. Yeah, this is it. There is something better. This this situation needs to change. We've got trust. Peaceful resolution. And in the near future. So this is it. There is something better. And this is what. People are delaying in this situation. It's crazy. People's holding on to something that just needs to be let go of. There is something better. There's something better for everyone in this situation. Everyone in this situation. But uh, people just need to have faith and believe in themselves. It's crazy. So, uh, yeah, the message says, heaven has something wonderful in mind for you.